Hey guys, so in today's video, I thought I would give a little advice to you guys out there who are just starting your transition, who um, just need to hear a good message, like a happy, positive message. I actually got ready today. I filmed another video earlier. I went live on Instagram for the first time today and it was actually really fun. So I've been having a good day today and somebody who I was talking to on Instagram they suggested that I make a video giving advice to other transgender people out there. And I thought to myself, like, I don't know any advice. Like, what would I, what advice would I give? And then all of a sudden I thought to myself, you know what? The best advice I can give is even just like a message from one trans sister to another or to a brother, trans brother out there. You are more than enough. You are more than capable. You got this. You can do this. I have faith in you. So yeah, anyways, let's just get to the video. I'm just going to ramble on about like topics and like advice that through, you know, things that I have, have dealt with and been through because that's the only, the only advice that I am eligible to give. So... If that sounds exciting to you, then just keep watching. So one of the first pieces of advice that I would give to somebody, to, to even myself, if I was talking to myself when I first started my transition, would be to just be patient. Nothing is gonna come overnight. Nothing is gonna come, you know, tomorrow. Just be patient and everything will work out. There were times in my transition, times in the last year, year and a half, two years, that I literally cried myself to sleep and I, I felt miserable and I thought, you know, nothing would ever um, change and nothing, no good would ever come to this and I would never like feel happy with myself and, and my life a lot of the times I was rushing I, I wanted you know the results from HRT I wanted you know my surgeries right now today but I have to save up and I have to take that time so just be patient because you're going to be happy if you're not happy it's not the end it sucks that we have to go through such horrible thoughts and doubts and even events some of us have to go through um but we will get there in the end and i have i'm i feel i honestly feel like i'm there right now and i still haven't had srs or um ffs or anything like that and i still feel like i'm the happiest i've ever been in my life and i didn't think that i would ever be this happy and i am i'm truly like i go to work every day i see my boyfriend every day i i don't do anything overly dramatic and exciting but I am so, so fulfilled and so happy. So yeah, just be patient. Another piece of advice I would give to you guys out there is when you're starting HRT, you're gonna go crazy. You're gonna go bitch mode. You're gonna go beast mode. You're gonna go C-U-N-T mode. Like people, you're gonna upset some people. You're gonna say stupid things. You're gonna act stupid. You're gonna be so emotional about nothing. And you're gonna laugh about it later. You're gonna laugh about it a year from from when it's happening. So take everything less intense, less harsh. I, I know when I was going through it, I felt like the worst person ever. I felt like, you know, I was being so mean to people. There's a glare. Excuse me, son, we're trying to have a peaceful conversation. Can you mind your business? Mind your business. Yeah, so I thought, you know, like I was, I was being so mean and I was like the devil um, and looking back, you know, like it sucks that, um, you know, I acted like that or, you know, things happened, but like it's only, it's only right that it's going to happen. Like you're going, your body is going through so much change and it's, it's, it's bound to happen. Is this glare annoying you guys as much as it's annoying me? So anyways, um, you're gonna go through that period of time in your life and, and don't be upset about it. Don't be, don't be upset with yourself. Just give yourself some credit. Give yourself some time. Um, it'll balance out and, and you'll be okay. So don't be so hard on yourself. And then that brings me to my next piece of advice, what would be, which would be don't be so hard on yourself. Like don't look in the mirror every day and, and look for you know results. Don't look at your insecurities in the mirror every day and wish that they were different. Try to look at the things that you love about yourself. When I look into the mirror, I look at my eyes. Everybody says I have nice eyes. Everybody says I have nice teeth. I try to look at those things because those are the things that I'm happy with myself, you know? I'm not going to look in the mirror and go, ugh, ugh, mm, no, that jawline and ugh, that brow bone and ugh, that nose, ew. 
the Adam's apple. And like, no, I'm not gonna sit in the mirror and, and say those things to myself. I used to, I did. I did almost every day I would sit in the mirror and I would cry to myself because I felt like I was ugly and I felt like I was too masculine and I felt like I was this or that, but be easy on yourself. Give yourself credit. Give yourself time to blossom. I never, never thought I would be this happy with myself with the way I looked and the way I feel and the way I can just be me. I can just live my life. And yeah, it's still scary sometimes and yeah, it's still sad sometimes and yeah, like, you know, this and that and whatever, but Compared to what it was before, I am like 98% happy with myself. Like, it is insane. So be nice to yourself. Can we please? My next advice would be be careful when you're dating, whether you're online dating, whatever it is, just be honest, just be careful. I know it's scary to be honest, especially when you start passing, you you feel like, you know, you don't wanna, you don't wanna tell people that you're transgender because you want to be accepted and whatever but like the truth is and it, it's different for everybody but my advice is just be honest I always had on my profile that I was transgender I met my boyfriend he was accepting he loves me regardless um oh my god is it better if I sit over here Anyways, um, my boyfriend loves me regardless and the fact that I put that I was transgender on my profile made it easier for me because I didn't have to wait for the perfect opportunity to tell him that I was transgender. He already knew because he already read it um, and that was one of the first things we talked about, about how, you know, he respected me and he still wanted to get to know me regardless and that's the type of person he is. And to be honest, if there was a guy out there, I don't care how hot the guy is, I don't care how nice or rich or whatever the guy is, if he does not accept you for that part that you have, that other girls don't have, that you're waiting to arrive in the mail. <laughs> if he's not gonna accept you, then why would you even wanna waste your time with him anyway? <laughs> it's logic, I mean, I don't wanna waste my time with people that aren't gonna accept me. Another piece of advice I would give to myself or to you guys is to be patient with your family and your friends. I know right away it seems like it's such a big deal that they have to use the right pronouns and they have to do this, they have to whatever. They do. If they want to respect you, they need to abide to, you know, your pronouns and everything like that, but they're trying. As long as they're trying, it's okay. I have one friend who it took so long for her to get it right, and even still, sometimes she gets it wrong after a year and a half, two years. And you know what? At least she was trying, and she would do it on accident, and she corrected herself. As long as they're trying and they're correcting themselves, um, oh, excuse me, my belly is hungry. As long as they're trying, I feel like if they're in your life and you love them and they love you and they're giving you support and they're trying, just be easy on them because it's gonna make it worse if you are just mad at them and you fight with them and then you're gonna feel even more alone because then you don't have those friends supporting you anymore because you're freaking out at them and all they're trying to do is, is try. They're just trying. I mean, if they're not trying and they're purposely doing it, then yeah, they can go F themselves, obviously. But if they are trying, you have to give them the benefit of the doubt and be patient with them. That's my advice. Um, who do I have any more advice? No, I don't know. I don't know what else, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to share. I hope this advice helps you guys and I hope you guys are doing good out there and I'm sending you all the love and all the support and all, you know, the positivity and, and everything that I can send you and, and trust me, I know. I know how hard it is. I know what you're going through. I know that you're crying at night. I know because I've been there and trust me, you're going to be here where I am right now like you're gonna you're gonna open your eyes one day and you're gonna think to yourself wow like holy shit you know like I've been through a fucking lot and it's been hard and I'm still going through it but I'm happy I'm happy and you're gonna be happy too okay why why am I getting emotional whoo whew. I didn't didn't realized I was gonna get emotional in this video. See, this is how much, this is how passionate I am, that everything's gonna be okay. As long as you have the love and support around you and you're happy with yourself, everything's gonna be okay.
Don't forget to follow my Instagram and stuff down below. Um, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Ooh, it's like a scene from Baywatch. Hello? 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 Oh. I'm actually like literally obsessed with this lighting. It's probably annoying AF to watch this video with the lighting like that, but I am pleasantly, happily content with the lighting. Ah.